Hey everybody, this is Tim with Railhammer Pickups. Uh, today we're doing another pickup swap video and we have this Gretsch. Uh, I believe it's called a Junior Jet. Um, this is the kind of entry level Gretsch uh, that's available currently. Um, and we wanted to use this uh, guitar because it is pretty uh, bare bones. You know, three way switch, master volume, master tone, and two humbuckers. Um, we tried in other videos to do some interesting switching systems and it didn't really work out, but for this video, uh, we're gonna do something special. We're gonna use our chisel set. So two regular rail hammers um, and we'll uh, use Seymour Duncan's uh, pickup mounting rings that have dip switches on the sides. Um, so that should give us the opportunity to uh, isolate um, you know, coil tap and coil split and all that other stuff and give us a lot more uh, different sounds and switching capabilities on a guitar that only has a three-way switch and two pickups. Um, so I'm going to play some different stuff on uh, different pickups and whenever we make that switch over to the rail hammers, uh, I'm going to play the same things on the different settings but have, you know, the neck pickup in just one coil or something like that to kind of uh, show you how versatile these can be if you want them to be wired that way. Of course, like anything, you could just have them wired just like this, the two pickups with the three-way switch, and uh, I'm sure that would work great. But uh, we wanted to show off some of the different capabilities today, so uh, stay tuned, and we'll, uh, we'll get right into it. So that's the stock pickups playing demo. Um, we're about to take this in the back and throw the chisels and those uh, pickup rings in there. And uh, when we get back, we'll have a lot more to, uh, to demo. All 
right, so we're back with chisels in this Gretsch and the uh, Seymour Duncan triple shot uh, humbucker rings. So there's two switches on each ring and that gives you the ability with a four conductor humbucker like all rail hammer pickups are to run each pickup as series or parallel and then you can isolate each bobbin. Um, so you can do only, only the one or only the other and then whenever, <clears throat> whenever you combine them, you can do the same thing. So you can make one big humbucker using the outer coils or the inner coils. Um, that will be really apparent whenever we switch to uh, some distorted tones, because you'll hear the hum whenever you get that single coil sound. Um, there's a lot of stuff to run through. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll call out stuff so Jeff can catch this in the edit and, and flash stuff up uh, on the screen. But let's jump into the bridge pickup. Thank you. 
All right, so we've gone through all the demos. Um, I think you can see, just based on the, the amount of time we spent with the, uh, the rail hammer demos, having this extra switching uh, really gives you a lot of extra options uh, as far as uh, tones go and, and uh, different switching capabilities. Um, I think something like this you know, a, a simple setup, but you know, you have the extra switches there would be really, really useful for uh, something like a studio setting. You know, if you want a very specific sound, but you want to do slight minor tweaks instead of, you know, getting up and going to your amp all the time, doing something like a series parallel thing might be what you're looking for. I think this also gives you a lot of different options um, for both clean and dirty settings. Um, so the finger picking stuff that we were doing, uh, I think, you know, especially in the middle position, getting the, the different variety of tones, you can get a little more treble or, or a little more of that, you know, mid-range and body from the neck pickup. Um, you know, really, really useful, really versatile. Um, and just the chisels in general, not really designed for a, a clean pickup. They still sound great clean. Um, you know, whenever we were playing the, the heavier stuff there, uh, you know, they really stand out and, you know, you get a lot of that oomph and, and uh, the power and grit, but they're, they're very clear as well and articulate. <clears throat> um, and I think that is only uh, uh, improved by the ability to isolate in individual coils and go series parallel, all of that, um, you know, gives you a lot of different options. Um, specifically with the neck pickup, if you are somebody who does not love playing on your neck pickups because they get a little washy and, and uh, a little muddy, having that ability to switch there is, is a godsend for someone like you. Um, I feel like you get that uh, clarity, especially if you go to that middle, middle coil. You know, Jeff was saying in the room here, uh, that was his favorite sound because you have a little more treble to that uh, neck pickup sound. Um, you know, the closer you get to the bridge, you get a little, a little bit of difference there. So. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised by how, how much more we could get out of this guitar with just two pickups, a master volume, master tone, and the three-way switch. You add those extra pickup rings in there and you got a lot more out of, you know, a budget guitar that is, is really nice. I like this a lot. Um, so I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and if you could share our videos, that would be, uh, that'd be great. Um, we want to get uh, more of this stuff out to uh, more people, so anything you can do can uh, help us with that. We appreciate it.